TV. We are back, and this is a interview that I've been excited to do for a minute, man. This is a to me a, a legend in Memphis and a staple in Memphis rap, and I'm super hyped to be sitting across from him. We got the legendary Fraser Boy. Salute. Yeah, appreciate man. you having me, man. Man, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate brother. the introduction, man. God damn. Yeah, dude. You, you, uh, man. I don't think. I, I think when people talk Memphis rap, and I've said this before on podcasts before, but I think you get looked over. I feel like, and I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, you know what I I'm think saying. Everybody, uh, my work so solid that everybody take it as own competition. Yeah. So they just try to look over me, but they see it. Yeah, yeah. I ain't tripping. Yeah, I just keep doing me. No, for sure, bro. Well, I, I'm excited to be be able for you to talk, tell your story, and yeah. we'll just we'll just start from the beginning, man. So, you just want to talk about growing up? Is it born and raised in Memphis? Born and raised in Memphis, uh, Fraser Bay Area. Yeah, my that's my stomping ground. That's what made me who I am. Yeah, so, yeah. What was it like growing up in Fraser? Wow, Whoa. Memphis period. Just, yeah. No, I ain't gonna say it was all bad. It was good times, you know what I'm saying? It was bad times, but you know, I guess it weighed out. Lost a lot of friends, uh, made a lot of friends. Yeah. Uh, taught me a lot about, I feel like, taught me more than school. No, right. Just, you know what I'm saying? But it was so well rounded and what was going on, it was just everywhere. So it, it kept me sharp, kept me, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, Taught me how to deal with the world at a no, young age. For sure, man. Yeah. You have you have siblings or anything? Yeah, uh, yeah. I just got one sister. Okay. Older sister. So growing up, was you playing? Was you into sports or anything like that? Like yeah, up? yeah, basketball. I used to play basketball before I was uh, rap like seriously. Play oh college, hell yeah! Play two years of college. Really? Yeah, Shelby State. Yep. Bro, that's dope, dude. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, I was on. I was on this shit. It might don't look like it, but shit. Hey, man. dude. Hey, man. That's cool though, man. Shelby State. Yep. Oh man, that's dope, man. Shelby State, it don't, it don't exist no more. They just changed the name. Of, I think it's a uh, Southwest. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a community. It's like a community college though. It ain't like a four year college. Yeah, that's still like dope, bro. State, but it's like yeah, hell yeah. I that's that's like, a fun. That, that's I a used fun to do fact. That for real, I used to do it for real, like real talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, so, yeah, man, that's crazy, dude. College ball, dude. Yeah. So here we go. I know that. So, not so much you rapping, but like, would do you remember like your first like recollections of like music you heard growing up in the house that you that, yeah, that yeah. you was drawn to? Man, just growing up in the household in Memphis, you yeah, heard Al Green, you yeah, know, we call it pimping. You heard, you heard yeah, 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 you know. What I'm, I'm trying to think of another name. You heard Al Green. You heard Anita Baker. You heard, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. All the greats. It yeah, just, yeah. It just made me who I am. No, for sure, man. It kind of molded man, you. Come on, man. Memphis is music, dude. You know what I'm saying? And Thanks. I sold that I heard, man. So you know, it was just a soundtrack of my life anyway. Yeah. Just, just Saturday mornings cleaning up. Your mama just bumping it. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. Man, come on, man. It's been in my blood. Yeah. Yeah. So growing up listening to music and then you was playing college ball. When did you ever, so? When did rapping become something that she was thinking about doing? Was it during school, like when balling? I, it was later, right? When I got to it. Yeah. It, like, it wasn't nothing I was pursuing. It's just like, when I got to it, I was at the right place at the right time. And uh, I always loved music. So, yeah. you know, I used to rap to other people's songs, just like anybody yeah, else. Yeah. But no, it never really crossed my mind until I got to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when I got to it, Paula Juicy, they really put me around it, you know, doing crowd chants and hooks, and, you know, because I guess the tone of my voice. Oh, yeah, bro. And they probably, you know, they just saw some tatter than me. I didn't even know. And she, they they molded me and she, there you go. I just, you know, you're around Paula Juicy Beats. Dog. I mean, God How damn. could you not be, how could you not want to speak? Just yeah, around song. people yeah. like Project Pat, Gangsta Boo, and, yeah. you know, yeah. Juicy J, yeah. people like that. You, I mean, you're going to pick up on it. If you, if you don't do it, you're going to pick up on it quickly. Yeah. And when I interviewed Pat, bro, I told him this. He's my favorite rapper. 
Right. Pimp C is my favorite rapper of all time. R.I.P. Pimp C. But Project Pat's my. I learned everything. Yeah. How to put everything songs in song mode and how to write from Project Pat. Like. I was gonna ask you that because I heard you say that I want to say in Dirty Glove in the Dirty Glove interview. Yeah. But I wanted to I wanted to touch on that because I'm yeah. such a Pat fan. He had a lot of influence on me. Like it's yeah. like, yeah. You know what's crazy, bro, is I heard you the first time I ever heard you, like a verse from you. Mm-hmm. I can't remember if it was Chat's first album on the uh on the Oof. the posse. That was the first the first yeah. thing I ever ever recorded. I okay. was in the studio that night, like I would say, the right place at the right time. Um, a lot of uh, group members, uh, posse members, uh, kind of left the group at that time. Yeah, it was like kind of like uh, so it was yeah, short. Turnover. Time, you know, yeah. our posse songs be four or five, well, maybe six, seven artists mm-hmm. going back to back. Eight bars a piece is going. Man, yeah. at that time, Project Pep was in prison. Uh, yep. I think Chad had j- just left and uh, Gangsta Boo wasn't there. You know, a lot of members was gone. So I was at the studio at the right time and they was joking. But I was like, man, Fraser, everybody gone, man. We might as well write your verse. Yep. But he just didn't know. I'm behind the scenes, but I've been plotting. I've right. been plotting. So yeah. I told that nigga, I said, she had trapped me. He said, well, she had write you eight bars. I went up there, you know, got in my zone, wrote eight bars. And she laid my verse, and there you go, man. The rest yeah, of the history might be uh, a month later. I got a hypnotized mind contract, and I ain't never looked back. Bro, that's so dope. 20 years later, dog. Here yeah, you are. Yeah. Still killing it. So here's what I wanted to ask you, too. I'm such a diehard Memphis rap fan. Like, Memphis rap's my favorite, right? Mm-hmm. The Memphis, then probably, t- and then Texas. But, like, growing up listening to 3-6 and hypnotized camp stuff, I want to say, you did you do some skits? Before you rap, I was gonna say that's what I did. Yeah, like, I was gonna say because like, your voice was familiar before I heard you rapping, bro. Like, utilized my voice, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, I guess they were like, shit, that my voice got a tone to it, yeah. Shit. Like, and shit, they saw it in me, like, I ain't there wasn't nothing I was pursuing, it's just my voice, yeah. Yeah, I did a whole lot of skits, like on the older Back past, grade, hell yeah, yeah, bro. Hell, hell yeah, dude. Like, the, I knew I, I was. I wasn't for sure, but I was like, man. That's what I was doing at first. Yeah, that makes oh, sense. Man, yeah. Because yeah. I want to say it was either the chat track or, bro, the bonus disc of Land of SmackDown when you had that mouth right to check. First, my first solo song. Yeah, bro. Don't let your mouth write a check. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I had that I had that bonus disc that came with Land of SmackDown. That's the only way you could get that song. Yeah, that was bad. That was a good goal today where you get it. It's just yeah. hidden CD. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That was a... Uh, yeah, that's my first solo song, two verses. Yeah. Just on the hypnotized beat and shit. Well, Project Pat was on it too. Yeah. My like, hell yeah. That was what I had to do, man. Yeah. So like when you so you did the the the, the verse on Chat's uh, song and you did that solo track. I forgot to tell you like how I got British and met Paul and Juice. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Rest in peace, Coops and Okay, yeah, R.I.P. Um, yeah. in the hood, I was uh I was good friends with his cousin Pam in the in the hood, and uh, he used to be over there. Mm-hmm. So we start, we became friends, you know what I'm saying, just by seeing him going back and forth through, through the project, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she, I started going along with him to the studio, and that's how I met Paul and Jay. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it was just, she, and the, yeah. And from then on, we got cool, and I was just around it. Yeah. And she, they, they utilized my presence. What's that? that was probably, what, 98, 99? Was that no, right? Yeah, no, no, no. It was probably about 2000. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was right around the time of like when the yeah, smoke clears, all that stuff. Around by two, yeah, yeah, about 2000. That's yeah. when I came around. I was working merch. Yeah. I was on the road with them, you know what I'm saying? They just doing background changes when I wasn't rapping. Yeah. And shit, they just, like I said, they utilized my voice and made me into an artist myself. Yeah, man. So now, that's a perfect way to segue into the album. Right. The first album, Gone on That Bay, right? Yeah. Which, which I was saying to you. <laughs> I feel like it's it's in my top ten Memphis rap albums of all time. Man, a lot of people don't know it. it's like my first time. I ain't know what the fuck I was doing. It I was, was gonna ask was, you that, like structuring it was, songs it was, it and was stuff. It was all hard. It was just all shit I've been through, shit I seen other people go through, real life situations. Mm-hmm. I'm from the streets, yep. So a lot of shit I was saying, I just watching Project Pet, learning how to put it in song mode and shit. 
That's that's how it came out. And the beats helped a lot. Yeah, bro, for sure. Yeah, the so beats like, helped a lot. So structuring so when it came to the the solo album and they was with you being somebody that's new to all of it, other right. than just doing those couple of songs, was that over, did that was that a little overwhelming at first? Like yeah, trying, yeah. yeah, especially like the the you probably felt pressure Man, being around pressure all that like talent. A yeah. I didn't know I didn't know how the people would accept me. I didn't know if they'd like it. Yeah, I just did I just did what I felt was right. Yeah, and she that's how it came out. Man, that yeah, you, yeah it was a whole lot of pressure. It yeah, was a whole lot of pressure because like I say. I'm stepping in the prisons of breaks, people that have been doing this shit yeah. forever. Yeah. And I'm I'm the new new fish. Yeah. I ain't never did this shit. So hell yeah, it was pressure. I ain't want to let them down, but you know, I think I did my thing. I think I held it down. Uh, bro, I think so too. And two thousand three for, for y'all at that time, I mean, March, white drop still uh, doubt me down. Doubt right, me now. Right, right. And and then August you dropped gone on that bay. Yeah. Just in 03, alone, just from y'all too. So like them two out. Them two are both in my top ten for Memphis rap. But I like, appreciate that. Yeah, that. Um. So, God, do you do you have a favorite song on that album? What you had going to pick? on that bay? Yeah. Close mouth. Yeah, that's a great one. Close mouth. Yeah. A lot of people don't know uh, the story of Close Mouth. Mm-hmm. Juicy J produced that track, and he made that beat. Years prior, when I wasn't even rapping, I just seen him make the beat. And I when you was it. just around, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So I, I seen him make the beat, create that beat, and he never used it. He just put it in the vault. So when it came time for my project, I said, "Hey, remember that beat you made?" You know, yep. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "My poor, that turn up." Yeah. You gotta close mouth, you don't get fed. Yeah, no dude. ass with chewing, then you don't get hit. Yeah. You a what, real gangster nigga, then you don't get scared. Yeah. You your ass, young nigga, or you don't get breed. Yeah. And what's so great about that, bro, yeah. is that the fact that like and that that riff, as soon as the beat comes on, that little that little riff he's got in there. Man, I used to mm-hmm. hear that beat in my yeah. dreams. You hear what I said? Yeah. I was plotting on this beat years prior. I wasn't even a rapper. Yeah. I was like, if I was a rapper, I would use That's that. my beat. Yeah. And the when great I became a rapper, yeah. I remembered that motherfucker. What's great <laughs> is it was still available too and nobody yeah. used it. He, he didn't use it. It yeah. was just in the vault. I just remembered it. Yeah. Because I liked it when he made it. Man, that the whole album, there's not a skip on that album. Man. Damn. I, 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 I think so. Like I think twenty two songs on that movie. Yeah, dude. Like every song on that bitch. Well, the only thing about the album that I went it didn't have a posse cut. Shit, it did. Wait, wait, on the first one? Yeah, ACP. Hell yeah, it had a posse cut. Wouldn't you damn skip it? On the gone on that bay? Yes, sir. The last song on the album. You never heard the posse song oh. on gone on that bay. You know no, I have. The reason why is because on Apple Music it's not on there. It's oh, yeah. 20, because Why is the, that? I wonder. Because of the sample. The sample. That's what threw me off, bro. Because I had that CD like three or four times. And when I started yeah, listening to it. Because of the sample. Yeah. You probably had to go to YouTube or something. Yeah, that's what it I got the CD at the crib, too. But yeah, like, it, that's it, what it threw me off. I was like, of, look. Because of the sample. Yeah, yeah. HCP, yeah. But like, the Bay Area probably uh, had had to get them, obviously. Yeah. That I know that's that's a lot of people's probably, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I love the one with UGK just because I'm such a Penn State fan. Sure, yeah. Was that one was that one that she was able to do with them or was well, that they, something that one had? they they had already had in the vault and when they when it came to my project, they just brought it out. Oh, that's fire, man. My first. That's a that's an alley oop right there, my, though. Yeah. First first album coming out to cut UGK yeah. on that bitch. Dude. Man, come on, man. I couldn't I couldn't ask for nothing else. No. And you I've I've heard you say too in interviews that you, you got a close relationship with Bun, too, right? You yeah, Bun, cool. Bun, that's that's like a my good friend of mine. Every time he comes in the city, we link up. Yeah. Eat dinner. That's dope. Go bro. to the studio and, and man, hell yeah, I fuck with Bun, man. It's like my brother. Yeah. So after so after that album dropped, is that did you did you really start to see some like I mean just your first rap album, bro? This is the first time you put together a project. Man, and it was that album. When I saw the people gravitating toward it and fucking with it, it was like, God damn. Yeah, I'm really doing this shit. Yeah. 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 It was surreal. Yeah. It was surreal to see something, you know what I'm saying, you just 
from nothing and you create. Mm -hmm. it just and plus you on power and juicy beats that's some of the hardest beats in the world. Yeah. Blessing, man. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? What I heard you say too, <coughs> or I read it or, or heard it on something where you said that album, you recorded that album like multiple times. Is that what you said? When I was recording, when I was first starting. It was like they was giving me a practice run. Mm -hmm. Like they were giving me a practice run. And they would just let me rap on beats. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of songs that didn't even make the cut. So I kind of recorded that out two times before you got what you heard. Oh, wow. So like that, the album, like, so it was like got on that bay. Like th there was a whole other version of that that people never even heard. Yeah, probably 20, 25 songs that never even came out. You, but I'm just, glad they didn't. Because okay, you didn't like them? The, well, I, li I liked them. Yeah, but it didn't stand up to when I caught on to what the, when I found my swag. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So when I found my swag, that's really what they was doing, like just like practice run, like because yeah, like most people have yeah, those yeah. first two or three albums to kind of figure yeah, everything out. There's a lot out, of songs you know? that never yeah. even came out. You know yeah. what I'm saying on, on other beats and shit. We found a combination to the lock when we got what you heard. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And shit, my hell yeah, what from there? That's fire, dude. Um, and then less than two years later, let's see, July of 2005, you dropped the follow-up album, Me Being Me. Me Being Me. Yeah, we was uh, with Asylum Warner Brothers. Yeah. we Me and the White actually was the first artist on their label. Yeah. Asylum, they had, Warner Brothers had created Asylum, and uh, it was Boosted Webby, they signed Boosted Webby. Yeah, with Gangsta Stories. Yeah, yep. and Mike Jones and Paul Wall. Yep. It was just us and uh, yeah, man. they gave us a run. Yeah, me being me, that's the joint with uh, I got that drink on. Yeah, bro. That and I was wondering too. That song did that come about because of the affiliation with Asylum? Right. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. So we was already pretty much label made, so that was easy to clear. Yeah, you know that's such saying? a fire song, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just yeah, it came together. Yeah, came that together. um. So the recording process of this album. How much different was it from Gone on That Bay? As far as like now, you've got that album down. I was more, more seasoned. I, yeah. I knew what I was doing. You know For sure, saying? I wasn't as nervous. You know, what I'm saying I knew what I wanted to do. I knew how I wanted to approach my music, mm -hmm. and you know, what I'm saying and I knew what I wanted to do. It, that's kind of like when I got my feet wet. You know, what I'm saying I was yeah. kind of in it. I felt better and I, I felt like I got better lyrical because you know I was I had did it. No, you definitely did like your yeah. bars, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I wasn't trying yeah. to top down in it, but it was just like growth. No, for sure. From the app. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got I got better lyr lyrically. No, hundred percent, dude. Yeah. You could you could see you could definitely see the growth in in yeah, yeah. that album. You know what I'm saying? From as much as I love all that bay, like mm -hmm. me being me, you could see the yeah, the growth and the, and the for lyrics sure. and shit, what, what I was talking about, because I wasn't robbing no more shit. I was on some more shit. Right. Had, that's when I started having kids and shit. Yeah, man. So I had to, you know, talk different. I was yeah. moving different. Yeah. You want to speak about fatherhood? Hell yeah. Yeah. Why not? So how, how many kids you got? Two. Okay. So when when was the first one? When did you get the first one? My uh, son, he's 21. Okay. So right around he that? Made me, and actually, he just made me a damn granddaddy. Oh man, so now, dude! Now, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, congrats, I got, bro. I got a granddaughter, Sky. So she she was born probably about a month ago. Oh man, congratulations, yeah. bro! And I have oh, a, yeah. a, a six year old daughter. Her name is Paige the Rose. Oh, that's awesome, man! Yeah. So he's your twenty one year old son. So that was around that. That was around that time. That was when I was recording on that baby. Yeah. Yeah, I actually uh, spoke about it on Walk a Mile. Mm hmm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. so. I oh, walk a mile, my shit. another banger yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was that, that's when I had around the time I had my first boy. So that's yeah. motivation right there, yeah, bro. Yeah, so yeah. That album was a journey. Yeah, a real journey. Yeah, in real life. Right. So I guess this this I guess this is why it came out like it came out. And you could just tell the passion in it, bro. Like yeah, like when yeah. you're rapping, bro, you believed every single. Cause you know, a lot of times, that's what I'm saying. You could tell, like you could tell, like it was yeah, authentic. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You could, you could feel, feel like everything you were saying in that. And then I always wanted to come across the. I always knew what I wanted to do when I approach uh, music. So mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was kind of like I was premeditating. 
Yeah. Before I even became it, and when I got to it, I was ready. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know how you listen to something? You you would know how you would want your music to sound if you did music. Yeah. So I took that and put it into my music. You manifested that, bro. Yeah. Even with from yeah. the beat, like you was talking about, like when yeah, it happened, right? yeah. and then it happened. Like I it was, was dreaming like, about it. Yeah. And it just shit. It came. God yeah. blessed me with it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I guess he saw the passion in me, like you, she you put it in my life. Yeah. So like that sec so the second album, me being me, and then like that's when you were even further establishing yourself as as one of those solo artists from Memphis, from the South. It was really because y'all was moving units back in too, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And y'all was it was independent, like because Asylum was an independent situation, right? Shit, Paul and Juice was probably the top producers in the game at this yeah. point. You know what I'm saying? 100 percent Especially 05. So, you know, they they track records speak for itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, hell yeah. Not to mention like, you know, your solo projects, but then all the <clears> features <throat> that you was doing, like on the choice was it Choices Two? Yeah. You was yeah, on Choices Two. Choices Two, oh shit. Just on the three six mile album. album. Yeah. I mean they kept you in the loop. Yeah, why you and White had a bunch yeah, of Yeah, only everything yeah. they come out with, they they pretty much kept you in the loop. So you, you had a piece of everything that was coming out. You mm. know Even if it was just a pasta song. They put a pasta song on everything. So yeah, dude. They made sure your voice was heard. Yeah. So that was kind of like a blessing within me starting off with them because I'm starting off with people that's already mm -hmm. making noise. So they kind of helped me, my voice get heard. Yeah. With a bigger audience. Yeah, and the thing is, bro, like, back then, nobody, like, me, me especially, like, I never even would have thought that that was your first album or that you were, I would have thought you were just as long in the game as everybody, you know like what I'm saying? I, I ain't got no mixtapes or no underground yeah. shit before going on the bay. It's like my first album. Yeah, the, the Scratch Drafts was your mixtape. Yeah, more or less. yeah, that's it was what like I'm practicing. trying to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it was like, yeah, like, my story, unique when it comes to how I started this shit mm -hmm. out. It was like, yeah, different. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then the following year, 2006. 2006. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Oscar, bro. Let's talk about that. How did that come about? What? How did the opportunity present? You know what I'm saying? Like the, the performance. Well, we can kind of go through all that. We'll touch on all of it, I guess, if you want to. But. Oh, they was working on Hustle and Flow. Uh-huh. In Memphis. Oh. John Singleton. Rest in peace, John Singleton. Paying goat. Yeah. Uh, and Craig Brewer mm -hmm. was at the studio. They needed a song to go exactly to what the movie was about. Even they was just telling me about what the movie was about before it had came out. They mm -hmm. was like, it was a. It sounded like John Singleton. Yeah. Like I need a song. It's it's a, it's a pimp, a rapper. He's an inspiring rapper. He has a pregnant girl, ho. Mm -hmm. One black, one white. They all stand together. He's struggling, and he want he, he's an inspiring rapper. He want to rap. Yeah, he's a pimp. So me hearing it, that translated in my mind. A struggling rapper want to be a pimp. Mm -hmm. Damn, the name of the song need to be as hard out here for a pimp. Yeah, and John Singleton was like, "What you say?" I said, "The name of the song need to be as hard out here for a pimp." Yeah, and he was like this is it. And Juicy was already cooking the beat up, and she once he gave me the beat. Laid the hook, wrote the two verses, probably about 30 minutes. Yep. And shit, that's what came out. Yeah, well, he said you wrote that shit so quick, dude. Right. He said you wrote that shit quick as hell. That man. shit was in my blood, man. Yeah, that's you what, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, like that's how you for real cook, cook from scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it just went, everything I'm speaking on in the song is just everything that's going on in the movie. But it, but it could, it could relate to every. It wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It could relate to everybody's life. Yeah, like yeah, that's going really to, what hard out here for a pimp stands for. Anybody can be. It's hard out here for a pimp. It could be a janitor. Yep. It could be a, a doctor. Yep. You have a hard day. It's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah, man. Yeah. Pimp down, pimp down. Like you know what I'm saying? It says it's that the whole like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so, relatable too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And y'all cut that song, and you just thought, oh, this is a dope song on a John Singleton fit, like soundtrack for the for a film. You didn't think, I mean, obviously, who would have thought that it would No, nah, we ain't know it was going to go that far. Yeah. yeah. yeah nah, you just, <laughs> you just thought it was song. a dope look. Yeah. I was happy to, uh, I was writing a song for a movie. Yeah. And she, uh, John Singleton, Carl Juicy, maybe, uh, I 
think it when the soundtrack came out, and told him she was nominated for a fucking Oscar. We didn't even know what the Oscar was. Yeah. So we were like, Grammy? No. Yeah, no, that's I, all I ever yeah. thought. Yeah. Realized what the fuck it was. Like, damn, the gold man, Denzel Washington, folk, hell yeah, we got nominated. We was cool with that. Just the nomination. Man, yeah, that's yeah. enough to, to yeah. the catapult your career. We was cool with that. Yeah. Man, when we got there, we won that motherfucker. So it was like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all have, did you, when y'all got there, I, I did you have a, a thought that like we could actually win this or did y'all thought no, I did. It. You did? Yep. Yeah. Cause I was in one with, with my creativity. Yeah. So it was like, if we hear up shit. If we're good enough to get nominated. Right. Yep. Nigga, we can win. Yeah. They was like, we ain't gonna win. We just gonna go here and rock this motherfucker and yeah. sell our albums, you know, represent our night. But when we won, it hit they ass out of left field. That's why we was the reaction was like it was. Yeah, that dude. shit was confidential. We did not know we were finna win. And we performed. Yeah, I remember the performance there. Yeah, you performed. had shade, you was rocking shades, I remember. Yep. We performed. Yep. And man, when we got through performing, that's when they announced we was up against Dolly Parton and Kathleen Bird, your crash. The movie Crash. Crash, yep. And Dolly Parton. I think Trans America. And my when Queen Latifah opened that envelope and the way she smirked, I knew it. Yeah, I mean that Dolly knew Parton, it. dog. That's fire. I man. knew it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. It was like, yeah, that shit was it felt like a just a dream or something. I it was just like yeah. everything was in slow motion. Yeah. I remember it. I yeah. remember being there, but it was like a blur. It was like LA. It was in LA. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a blur. And you looking at everybody, movie star, yeah, and they, they looking at you. Like, like what the fuck? Yeah. This shit just, yeah. it feel like, all right, Robert De Niro looking at me, Oprah looking at me. They looking at me like I'm a, like, like I'm them. Yep. Man, I'm just a nigga from the hood, Memphis, Tennessee. So yeah. it's like, I still had to keep it clear. Like I had to, I, I did this shit before, but you, in the inside, I was like, what the I was gonna fuck say nerves. Going on? Yeah, nerves so, had to be. Yeah, I handled yeah. it well. I, I kept my game face on. You know 100%. Saying? But I was like, this shit is crazy. Bro, tell me, can you tell me about, I've heard you say it before, but I need the Will Smith thing. <laughs> what, what was that about? Damn. Was he just. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, okay. Um. After we won, yeah, we got the Oscar. Queen Latifah, we got the Oscar. We in our moment. So I see Will Smith standing there, over there, like probably where that wild is, mm-hmm. probably five feet. So I'm like, damn, that Will Smith. Like yeah. I'm a fan. Like yeah. I'm groovy. I'm running over there to him. He was just standing there, just like that. He wasn't smiling. None of this. He was standing with his arm crossed. So I'm still over there, like, what's up, man? I love your work. Yeah. Going on tour and trying to shake a hand. You didn't shake my hand. I'm like, oh God, damn, man. Oh, okay. The man looked at me and said, straight in my eye, square. He said, congratulations to the men that won the Oscar before me and walked the fuck off. What a crybaby, dog. I said, God, <laughs> damn. Oh, my God. Fresh friends, bro. Yeah, that man, he wasn't feeling that shit. How do you even yeah. respond to that? You're just like, I did. looked around like, that I just remember. happened. I yeah. didn't respond. He walked off so fast, he didn't give me time. <laughs> well, I bet he shit. did, dude. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That was just, hey, man, blame God. <laughs> blame right. God, bro. Well, I mean, just to, oh, man, that's crazy, dog. And then but to yeah, see yeah, how it things. Was like, it was like, yo, he was. And then his and then what happened a few years he back? Smack me, though. I was gonna say that, that wasn't even a thought. I mean, he didn't smack me. He didn't no. go that far, but uh, yeah, yeah, he was. He threw a hissy fit. That's <laughs> that's crazy, man. That he yeah. couldn't have just. I was like he ain't won him. enough at the, even at that point. Well, I it, bro. I'm going over there trying to shake his hand. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, that's Will Smith, nigga. I'm a fan. Like, I grew up on your music and your man, movies, man, yeah, your man. TV. He didn't give a damn. He. He just said what he said and walked the fuck off. And he wasn't even nominated in the same category as y'all. Hey, man. I God. Him too, I guess. Yeah, dude. That's, 
Yeah, man. True Shout story. out to y'all, man. Because that <laughs> that's wild, dude. You can make Will Smith do that. Shout out to you boys. No, nah, for sure, dude. Man. So they let you know I'm totally out of my league. Yeah. So they like, who the fuck is this dude with what I'm going hard for? Yeah. yeah blame God. Yeah. <laughs> blame. And and I'm I'm sure too, like after that, I'm sure the level up was wild. It had to have been, right? Like as far as what? Just a, like after y'all won the award, just to be able to I I'm sure y'all got like opportunities or the yeah, potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? Um, y'all got in places maybe y'all wouldn't have got in before definitely just definitely, because of the, it's, it's definitely the key to some shit yeah it's beyond eyesight so you know right what I'm you, can, you can get into certain shit that your average can't get into yeah so yeah hell yeah it's, it's beneficial right um after that you still had you still did one more album with him you did the key right the key that was 2008 it was a couple of years later yeah, right uh that was probably toward the end of my the end of the label for as me with them. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. So I actually I, I, um, recorded, I recorded the album in three days, wrote and everything. Oh, damn, really? Yeah. But it was uh, by, by choice. Not, well, by force, not by choice. Oh, okay. I got so, you. So, you know, it was just, it wasn't my best work, I don't think. But, yeah, that was the last album. Yeah. With, you feel like it was well, it, it was, was rushed. Rush, yeah, yeah. yeah I felt yeah. like it. I'm telling you, yes, it was rushed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it, it, I mean, it's still a bank, but you know, it wasn't my. It wasn't your vision work. like the other yeah, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. It right? Was just, you know, it was kind of more like it, a, it was just you know an obligation that had to be filled, basically more or less. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. See right there. Yeah. So yeah. Um. That's how it came out. And then after, so after that, and you started doing your own thing. Did you is that when you linked when you and White did the 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 bar a few years later or was you doing stuff before like it was a couple of couple of years down the line yeah. yeah we you know that's still my that's my brother so you know that was something we've been promising the fan our whole oh dude yeah, yeah so I guess you know we both got together and just realized it, it's about time for us to you know get to get the people what we promised years ago yeah dude and uh rest in peace West Phillips absolutely uh, selecto hits uh. Yep. Yeah, he made that happen. So we kind of threw fixes in mind. Yeah, we buying the joint. Yeah, that album is crazy, dude. Yeah, like the yeah, whole album. It's been in the making a long time. So you know, it was on the right. Yeah, anytime that y'all did things, it was it was fire. Like Bay yeah. Area, Water, like all those tracks. Yeah, we like Evan and Avery. For Real sure. Life. No, for sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and y'all had some dope features on there too. Y'all had Jelly on there. You had uh, MJG. MJG. Yeah, yeah, dude. Chat, Gangsta Boo. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it, it, it had the fam on there. So you know, yeah. And then man, uh mission lineings. Um Yep. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, you had a bunch of dope solid on there, man. Yeah. yeah. Boo, R.I.P. Boo. Yep. Rest in peace, boo. Yep. Thug Rest therapy. in peace, Lord Elfamus. Yep. Rest in peace, cool, man. That's no, fine, for sure, man. man. Hell yeah. In the same year you did a solo project too. You did uh you did the Not No More joint. Damn, I almost forget about that. Not no more. And that's no. A, I think that's another classic album. No, that one slept on too, bro. That joint got some bangers on it. So Dude. I uh why yeah. was that fix is doing it with Wes Phillips or I just went on and dropped another solo album and yeah not no more yeah because yeah. you, you had a joint with 8 Ball on there that was fire that's probably my favorite yeah, one 8 Ball, one eight ball. Right. Criminal Man was on there too Cram yep yeah it has some it has some, some bikers on there chat joint. chat's on that one too yeah like I said I kept the family right. girl, you know what I'm saying they mm -hmm. family so yeah they gonna get a piece of it fine yeah yeah um after you did that one did you take some time off of music or was you or from recording solo uh, albums? I started or something? working on uh, uh, just Take Me to the River documentary. Ah, okay. Um, we had went on like a 75 city tour. We were gone about three months. Yeah. So I think I was working on this. So that, that was like actually a six year project because yeah. we was moving around doing education and initiatives and everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so dope. It that was kind of like. That was different, so I was kind of busy doing another line. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So that yeah, makes yeah. sense because I ain't take no time off. But well, just I guess I just meant from so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, you know, but if but, he was you know, doing that, like that, like that project, like for sure. Yeah. So and that you, makes sense because twenty twenty, you and T, uh, you and T Rock dropped that, dropped that. T me and T Rock, yeah, yeah, through yeah. Uh, Six Inter Enterprise and Mexico. Yeah. So we all uh, dropped back today. We actually working on back today too now. 
Oh, that's dope. Uh, yeah, we're really pretty much done. So that'll be coming soon. Uh, we got Bay Day. Yeah. All platform, we got Bay Day 2. Yeah, it was 2020, yeah, 2021. Uh, probably coming next month. I was going to ask you, like, the new, like the new stuff. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Bay Day 3 coming next month. So be on the lookout for that, man. You just, just, just working, man. Yeah, them EPs are, them Bay Day EPs are fire, too, man. Yeah, so Bay Day 3 going to be a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. So y'all get ready for that. So 2020, that's a, obviously, that's when all that stuff, the world went crazy. When, when the, how did that? How all did that affect you? Well, like with, with, with the pandemic and all that, when all that stuff. Oh started. yeah, it definitely altered. Yeah, dude. What was going on? So it, it just it didn't hurt me because I do music. Right, you was able to. So you was like a sink or swim thing. Yeah, yeah know, I was still thing. able to do. You know, stream and went up. Yeah, for shit, sure. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got shit to do but listening to music. So it was like a good yeah, thing went, for what I, you know, for what I do. Yeah. Yeah, I write music at home. I'm at home anyway, so you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it was just another day. It worked. Me. It worked. At, yeah, and, and what was crazy, bro, is that that almost felt like that was an alternate dimension. Whenever that stuff happened, yeah, yeah, bro. yeah, it, 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 it definitely altered. Cancel the NBA. I was like, what? This is when they canceled the NBA. I knew yeah. some shit was going on. I looked at my phone. I was like, oh, this is not. That, I, I, that yeah. scared me more than it. I think that was scared me. Me too. It wasn't bro. the pandemic. I was like, man, they canceled the NBA. You no know, basketball. Yeah, dude. And like, I think that was it, that's probably what was the hardest thing. Yeah, it wasn't no sports. It wasn't no nothing, man. And even when they were when they started back, it was like it not, was weird. It was no crowds. It was like that shit it was, was like, weird. Yeah, it was. It was super weird. It was super weird because then it was twenty twenty was a rough year because the beginning of the years when when we lost Kobe. Yeah, the world ain't never yeah. seen no shit like that. No, Everybody man. walking around with masks and shit. Yeah, like, this shit was. Yeah, it was. Uh, what's what walking deadish? Yeah, dude, <laughs> it was, bro. It was like, had that type shit. You couldn't, yeah. And looking back on it now, it was like how crazy everything was. It's like I can't believe that's really where we were at three years ago, yeah, four years ago. Yeah. Now everything's just back to normal. But so that, you don't yeah, know what to believe these days. So, no, you know, man. You don't know if that shit was real or not. But we just follow the rules. Yeah, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, that's the scary part. Yeah. Motherfucker just push a button and say something in the air. Yeah. Start moving like this. And everybody move like this. That's exactly what it was, man. Oh, that shit, yeah, it's, it's weird. It yeah. was a weird time. It definitely was. Um, what are some of Fraser Boy's favorite, because we spoke on it a few times, some of some of your favorite Memphis rap albums? I'm not going to make you name a certain, like a top five or whatever. But My favorite Memphis rap Just some of your album. favorite ones. Yeah, some of your favorite God, ones. damn. That's gonna be hard. I'm gonna say, coming out hard, they ball them JG. Absolutely. I'm gonna say, uh, Tom and Wright the third. Oh, I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, uh, Gangsta Pat. Yep. I'm gonna say, Al Capone. Man, that shit, the list, skinny pimp. Uh, oh, dude. You got time? Oh, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna yeah. do this shit all day. Yeah. I'm gonna say, man. Hey, Play fly. Just, Yep. Play a flag, you yeah. three six, you can yep. you can do that all day. Memphis is a talented ass city. No. Yep. Like you can throw rock and hit talent. So it is crazy the amount. I was talking about that with talking about that with Tom Ski Mask, you know, because yeah. with him and, and Squeaky and them and what all they were able to do, you know, with Project Players and all them guys. Shout out to them, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's just like Memphis got some goats. Dude. Some it, real yeah. goats. Yeah. When it comes to music, like we've been doing this shit, it's just like they just not catching on. Mm -hmm. They've been knowing it, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we're gonna get this shit back. I don't think so either, bro. There's just too much, and then yeah. motherfuckers just abruptly coming up every day out of Memphis. Like mm -hmm. we deep. No, yeah. When yeah. it comes to musically, music talent, yeah. These folks ain't playing. And a lot of people, a lot of people are just not catching on to y'all. The younger kids are just not catching on to what y'all so was doing, it's like, it's, and they're it's, sampling it's, it's, it's it. Yeah, going full circle. Yeah, so that's why. I'm, that's why I'm like, man, I don't think we're gonna get this shit back. I'm just gonna be 100. I don't think so either, man. Because yeah, yeah. with the new kids, with, with the new newer age, like hearing y'all, yeah, dude, they keep coming. And, and then you need to, when the new age hear the new age, they go back and be like, damn, they been on that shit. Yeah, so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a long line of. Tatted when it comes when you talk about Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, especially when somebody like Drake samples something or gets some somebody like yeah. Pat on something, that just puts it in a whole other stratosphere. 
I mean, they samples we, uh, Tommy Ryder play a fly or whatever. That's how we operate. Yeah. Which is, we got a different, we got our own sound. Mm -hmm. We really got our own sound. We create our own sound. And we stick to the script. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it, it is what it is. That's our recipe. That's how mm -hmm. we move. So you, the pain, the fun, all that shit, you're going to hear it in our music. No, 100%. And number so. Yep. It was dope to see you doing a song too uh, with Kendrick P too. Kendrick P, yeah, yeah. super Freddy. talented that's, guy. That's gonna man. be on Bay Day three. Yeah, that's yeah, a hell yeah, hell yeah. Kendrick he's a good P, dude, man. Yeah, he coming, he coming for y'all. Yeah, dude, he's a uh, he. We've had him on our podcast that we yeah. do, and um, a couple of times. He's he's real cool, dude. Yeah, I, yeah. We're gonna do some more work together. So you know, that was our first joint. So yeah. You're a talented dude. Oh, super talented. I found out about him through Trip, Don yeah. Trip. That's another one too that just. That's where I first heard him on. So, yeah. you know, I had to, I had to get something with the, with the, with the kid, man. Yeah, he do his thing. Yeah, that the year that Trip just put on, man, that one, album every Trip month. Trip going in, bro, and like, he's still he doing blacking it. out. Yeah, he like he blacking out, but that's what Trip do. Yep, the man a genius. Dude, when when we had him on the pod, we were asking him like, "Do you have all these bank these sites?" And no, man, I do them in real time. I record them each yeah. month in real time. The man is so like, talented. Yeah. in his work ethic, man. You know what I'm saying. I don't speak expect it no other way. Yeah, hey, it's Don Trip. He, he do what he do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. What um? So what's? I know you said you're working on Bay Day Three. Right. What else? Other than that, are you just, you got anything else in the um, works? Or are you just focusing on that? Probably working on my album, Big Memphis. Oh um, hell yeah! I'm gonna come out with another EP, You're the Underdog. Um, thinking about going on that Bay too. Oh, that would be you know what I'm saying. I'm crazy. just, I'm just, I'm just working and just looking straight ahead and mm -hmm. doing what I do. I'm uh for the start getting more in this doing this movie shit. I was gonna say, bro, really I think, utilizing, yeah. all, you know what I'm saying, what what I got the credentials for. Yeah. So I'm I'm really finna do more of that. Like acting or directing? Yeah, acting both. Both? Hell yeah. Both on both sides of the camera, but you know the music is gonna always be what I do. Yeah. How do you compare? How would you compare like acting as opposed to? I mean, it's it's both. Obviously, it's completely different. I think it's like a new passion of mine. Like it's yeah. just it's just really what I want to transition into because I know I can do this shit. No, oh, for sure. Yeah, I know I can do this shit. Like you know what I'm saying? When I put my mind to it, it's just like music. Mm -hmm. When I get it, I get it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's just I'm gonna do more of it. That's why I say you're slept on, bro. Because let's just think about this for a second, Fraser. You. Three years after you recorded your first album, you won an Oscar for what you create. You see what I'm saying? Like that's what people are not really. I don't think people understand that. Man, it's I not still, like you were 20 years in. Like, yeah, it was like know? I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it's a unique ass story. I don't even know how it happened. Yeah, like that was the first song I ever wrote for somebody, and I won an Oscar. So yeah. Blame God, dude. Ain't what you said. <laughs> That's yeah, all, right, bro. all praise to the most high, man. No, like, for sure, dude. Yeah, crazy, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah. But I know I was there. Yeah. But yeah, man. Greatness, I guess, man. For I'm sure, dude. myself down. I guess I'm great. <laughs> you you, get, you are, bro. You got to be to be able to yeah, do something right. like that. Yeah, cause... right. So, you know, it just, like, like on some real shit, it's just, just, just God, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's God. Cause it's not like that was something y'all were. Like, no, nah, we want to shoot for it, man. Yeah, it just, and it, you know, it's our craft, man. It just, it just how it came across. Yeah, you no know, real recognized, real. I guess they just gravitated to it, man. It just, you know, it's the universe, bro. Right. You know, what I'm saying everything was just lined up. But um, here's what I want to ask you. Last thing I'll ask you, I ask everybody on these interviews. Okay. Who is Fraser Boy? Who is Fraser Boy? Yeah. You can you can I'm make a it as your father. Yeah, there you go. I'm a godson, I'm a father, uh, I'm a friend, mm -hmm. I'm going to say I'm a motivational speaker. I like that, yep. Not just a rapper, I'm going to say that. Hell yeah, dude. So that's, that's I like that, what? motivational I, speaker. Out of, out of Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, man. It's me. And... Bro, you played. You was a baller too back in the day, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Don't don't get it twisted. Yeah, don't dude. Get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, man. man. 
Yeah, yeah, the resume of a motherfucker. A yeah. lot of folks don't know that. Yeah. I used to shoot that bitch. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you, man. I hey, really man, do. I appreciate you having me, dog. No, this is this yeah, is really yeah. good. This is it really good. Cool, time. Man. Absolutely. And y'all be sure I put all his links there. Y'all be sure to uh to go stream the music. Yeah. All all the chat arms like our subscribers on Chat Arms TV are, I'm sure for me, but if they're not, we'll get them tapped in. We'll get them, you know, all that stuff and sure. um to where sure. whenever you drop new stuff, we'll link back up if you want to follow back right, up with some sure. stuff. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to do this again. No, for sure, man. I Straight appreciate up. you. Salute. Yeah, absolutely.